this community. Today you have shown that you are the backbone, the bastion, the tripod on which this community stands. Oh, I'm very proud of you. I thank you very much. Um, my son has, with your support, he has successfully lit the ritual fire announcing the commencement of a Kuali festival. I thank you for all that. Now the community can be rest assured that all is well. Now the community can celebrate the festival happily, without let, joyously. I thank you. I thank you. I say I thank you very well. You see? Your Majesty, Prince Collins is leaving Palace of Slovich. What did you say? The scholars is leaving the palace with luggage. Leaving the palace with his luggage. Yes, sir. Honey. There is a thin line between love and hate. Honestly, I don't want to push my luck. You did well, my son. There is no way a cockroach cannot be found guilty in the gathering of chickens. They know you are here. You know, I told Mary I needed time to think about my life. But I didn't tell anybody I was coming to this place. If they could do all they did for now, sensing that you are solidly in their way, could spell something terrible for you. You're right, Uncle. You're right. I've switched off my phone. Good. And we'll make sure that my car is always parked out of sight. I just want to stay here and watch how things play out. Rest assured that no one will harm you here. However, I will not sit and watch Caesar deny you of what rightfully is yours. Never. Thank you, Uncle. You are welcome. Where is your mother? But I don't know where she is. Mary, where is your mother? I don't know where she is. Now don't tell me that. Don't go telling me that. What's up, what, what kind of disappearance are we having in this house? First, Collins disappeared. Followed your mother. She just disappeared into thin air. Now don't tell me you, you two are planning to disappear from here too. Father, mother just stepped out. I'm sure she'll be back soon. And her phone is not going. It's been the terrible network. Network has been bad and everyone has been experiencing it for a while now. And Collins, why would that boy leave this house without informing me? Why? And that's what I've been trying to explain to my sister, but she won't listen. Apparently she must have taken the same kind of meal that Collins took that drove him out of the house. Anthony, I won't let you insult me. And if I do? If I do, tell me what will you do? Fight me? I'm sh I will not be surprised at all. Because that's the least of the things that you can do since you can support another person against your own blood brother. Something is wrong. How dare you talk to me? Hey, shut up, both of you! Father, if you talk to me, I'll answer him. Let him not be talking to me. I said shut up! By truth and justice
You think that little stunt you and my brother pulled will end you? I demand to know what you intend to achieve from it. I don't know what you're talking about. Where is Collins? He is your brother. And you're in a better position to know where he is. And he's your friend. And I'm sure you must have advised him to go into hiding so that the entire community will empathize with him. Like I said before, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll ask you again. Where is Collins? Why don't you go to the police? Tell them you're looking for your brother or he's lost. Instead of wasting your time here. Edmund, you should be careful how you talk to me. You are very far from the palace. And so? Any reasonable man that finds himself in another man's house is always very careful with his choice of words. Are you threatening me? Have a most pleasant day, Your Highness. As a man, it was still like yesterday when Collins was a baby. I remember you were one of those I ran to when it was obvious that my son was in danger of being killed by people who wanted the, the throne. I still remember your majesty. It was not easy losing the love of my life at a very tender age and very young in my marriage. So I had to marry his younger brother to protect my son. Praise to the gods in heaven and to our gods for protecting and keeping him alive. So I married Caesar and he became the regent of Mbanta. Collins has never been eager to take the crown from him because he sees him as a father. He once told me that his son will never rule over his father as a king. Words of a wise son. Collins and Anthony are my sons. Anthony wants the throne of his father as the first son. What is the more you and I know that Caesar is not the king, he's only the regent of Mbanta. Your Majesty, I know exactly what you are saying, but um, if there is any internal squabble in the family, I am not aware of it. Collins left the palace earlier today. And I don't know his whereabouts. What scares me most is what he might be thinking of doing. Is he planning to do anything to anybody? I wouldn't know. But there's a more. I have come to plead with you, to talk to Caesar, make him understand the futility of trying to hand over the throne to Anthony. I will. I will speak with him. Hmm? I don't want to hear not connecting. Keep dialing those numbers. I need to know what is wrong with both of them. I need particularly to know what your mother was thinking and when... what could your mother be thinking, sister? I want to know what you were thinking when you advised Collins to run away from this house. What were you thinking? 
What matters is what I think now. Carol, I have no time for frivolities now. Where is Collins? Caesar, you promised me before we got married that you were going to make sure that Collins becomes king. So what is going on now? Is Collins the only son you have? Because I don't think I'm good enough to be her. And baby. one more word from you. Oh, and you do what, mother? Slap me like you always do. Go ahead and do it. Slap me some more. After all, I, I, I don't even think I'm good enough to... Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay. My name is Immaculate and I'm wondering if the prince is around. Good day. Uh, the prince, which of the prince, if I may ask? Prince Collins. Young lady, who are you looking for? Good morning, Your Highness. Yes. My name is Immaculate, sir. And I'm looking for Prince Collins. I know. I am Prince Anthony. You know what? I heard my brother has a new girlfriend. Though I have not met you before. But you look exactly the way I expected. How am I? Beautiful. Because there is no other word to describe exactly the way you look now. Thank you, Your Highness. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I actually came to see Prince Collins. Is, is he around? Um, I'm sorry to break this news to you. Oh, come on. It's, it's not that serious. Anyway, see, I knew you were expecting to meet Collins at home. And I know you have slated out the time you're going to be with him and the phone and all that. So that I don't want to spoil. But unfortunately, he's out of the house now. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> and Prince Collins never told me you're this lively and friendly. Oh, my brother. You don't have to blame him, you know. He has a lot on his hands. And you don't expect him to remember everything. True. Well, I'm honored to meet you and I'll be on my way now. I'll oh, not too fast, darling. I was actually on my way out um, before you got here. So why don't you be my guest and I'll drop you home. No, Your Highness, I... That's a humble order from a humble prince. Please get into the car. I saw Auntie Immaculate. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh, and nobody even remembered to ask her if she was heard from Collins. Where is she now? Um, she has gone out with Prince and Sonny. I saw them driving off now. What? Okay. Um, uh, okay. Um, thank you, Rela. Is there anything else? No, Your Highness. I just wanted to tell you so you could find out if she knows anything about Prince Collins or whatever. Um. All right. <laughs> you may leave now. Thank you. Why would Immaculate come to the house, drive out with Anthony without even entering inside the house? Well, I don't know. You don't know. So why not you call and find out what's the behind the reason? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a number. So she's the problem.
So, which of these ones are your house? Uh, I, I don't think it's necessary for Excuse you to me. know, but thank you for bringing me back. Well, that's where you get it wrong. Because I can't bring you all the way from Banta and drop you just along the road. Come on, I have a conscience. I insist. I must take you home. I understand your concern, but my father will be very mad at me if I bring you to the house. He has never allowed any man to come around. Yeah, uh, allow me to ask, so where are your suitors supposed to come when they're ready? Prince Anthony, you're not coming to marry. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you, father. What? <laughs> you're joking. Don't joke with things like that. I don't want anybody to start asking questions about you or, you know, to start counting the number of suitors that have come to the house and never married me. Well, he does care you, okay? I'm going to tell him something else. But know that I'm not going to drop you along the road. I must take you home. And you will tell my father you came to marry me? Well, if that makes you scared, I'll tell him something else. Do you say things because you mean it or you just like to talk? Let's just get to your house first. Edmond, if there's anyone who should know about Collins's whereabouts, it's you. I beg you in the name of God, if you know anything, please tell us. Not just for me, but for my mother and the entire household. Princess, I don't know. I don't know how else to convince you that I don't know where he is. I really don't know. He didn't even tell me when he was leaving. My mom is so worried and it's weighing her down. I hate to see her in that mood. I just... If I knew where he was, I would have told you. I believe you, if you say so. Yes, so we got the report that your meter is faulty. That's true. And we've come to put it in order. Oh, fine. Yeah. And sir, for convenience sake, yeah. you should photocopy your bills and place them close to the meter so okay. we can always reach them when we come. Oh, fine. Thank you. Yeah. Uncle? Give <laughs> me there's no, 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 there's no problem, my son. They came to check the bill okay. and repair the meter. Please. Hold on, let me go and bring it. Very well, sir. Um, what is it? Why don't we go and check on the meter to see what is wrong with it? Why is it and wait for the man to bring the bill? Okay. Okay. All right, I'll make sure. Okay. Um, so beautiful girls like you work with the power of authority. You've seen for yourself. Yeah. This will be beautiful. Chief Easy, sir. Please collect it from her when she's done. Okay, Let me go and complete what I'm doing. Okay,
well. So, finally you got to my house, but unfortunately for you and fortunately for me, there was nobody at home. Thank you so much for bringing me back home and for the money. Just a whole lot of money. Thank you so much. It's nice to come. I understand. I was almost losing it. Yeah. But anyway, now that I know your house, I'll come visit in some other time. <laughs> some other time? Sure. Here? You want my father to disown me? He won't do such a thing. Trust me. Okay, then I'll see you. Abomination for me, Ogwejofo, to enter a barn where cocoa yams are ties instead of yam. Now, I cannot. Mm -mm. You are right, Ogwejofo. A dark like us cannot sit at home and allow the goats to give birth in theaters. What baffles me is this. Is there more involved in this? We all are aware how Caesar arrogated himself the title of a king instead of a regent. The boy he was supposed to hold the title for is now a man, so he should take over his father's throne. Because the fact that Ezemo is involved in all their planning, what do you think happened to us if we decide to fight it openly? Ah, my flatters. Man die but once. If Ezemo decides to experiment his power on me because of the truth, let him go ahead and kill me, and I will be ready to die another dead. I will. I know how fast you want to put Collins on the throne. But we have to put something into consideration. Just like what, Honora? We have to be very, very careful. Lest we cut our nose to spite our face. Honora, what are you saying? If Collins becomes the king, how is he going to lord over a man who he calls father? Sister's son and daughter are calling step brother and sister. If Collins becomes king, how do we reconcile his position against Caesar? Um, if we can get Her Majesty divorce Caesar, we would have taken care of every implication. I think that is what we're going to do. I think you have a point. How would I achieve that? Gave you transport to Umbanza this morning. Don't you think I should be surprised if I see you with this amount of money? Well, if you must know, I met Prince 
I met Prince. Prince Collins gave you all this money. <laughs> that's that's nice. Well, he's told me he's loving and caring, and as I can see, he's also generous to you. And <laughs> this is very nice, though. So. What do you think? He even brought me home. But, um, Ima, mm -hmm. did you just say he brought you home? Mm -hmm. I, I tried to dissuade him, but he insisted. And he said that he, he was ready to face whatever music our father will play for him. And what did Papa say? Ha! Fortunately for us, there was nobody at home. Okay. <laughs> Ima, that was some huge risk both of you took. What would you have told Papa? Ima, he said he was going to tell Papa that he wants to marry me. <laughs> Are you serious? He wants to marry you. That means he proposed. What is going on here? Her Majesty called us. He has not said anything to us yet. Really? More than what is wrong? Why are you doing this to yourself? I didn't know when I broke down. Mother, what is wrong with you? Mary's mother all right? If anything should happen to Collins, I'll hold you and your father responsible. Why is mother talking like this, Mary? It's not for you to worry about. Just one day. One day, you all will understand. There is something I detest. I don't like it when people compound an already complicated situation. Why did you visit as a mom and level allegations against him? Why? Caesar, you have finally convinced me as to where you stand on this issue. I want you to remember that the two boys in question are both my sons. They are also my sons. No. Tony is your son. As for Collins, you have made him believe that he is just your, your brother's son. Well, you can at least make things less difficult for Tony. Thank you for reminding me. Did you see my son? Did you see my son? Yes or no? We are not able to find him, but get out! Get out! You have come to receive accolades for not finding my son, right? Get out of my presence! Get out! Idiot! Fool! Huh. But how could Collins do such a thing to me? You won't blame the young man for taking such action. It's all about life preservation, and one in danger has no other place to run to than his maternal home. I 
How is he doing? Oh, he's doing quite fine. He said I should let you know so that your mind will be at rest. Brother, please. Tell him to come back home. Oh, he will come back when the palace is favorable. Yeah. <sighs> your Majesty, Mazibe, the king wants to see you in the throne room. Oh, tell him I'll be there right now. Sister, let me go and see. I must have to use everything within my power to secure what belongs to me. Collins is really a threat. I must have to break him, both physically and psychologically so he wouldn't have the moral will to fight me. Yes. My Prince, His Majesty the King wants to see you in the throne room. My in-law, Ibe, please sit down. Thank you. I had uh, expected that you would come into the throne room since I heard that you came into my house. I didn't see you and uh, well I reasoned that uh, you were with your sister and you were comfortable there. <laughs> your Majesty, you know that isn't the case. In fact, I would have come to see you but I was told that you were busy with someone. So I decided to wait until you finished before coming. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I, I am sure uh, my wife would have told you about Collins. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, she told me that Collins ran away from home. And no one has set eyes on him ever since then. Yes. Yes. I wonder why Collins would leave this palace without telling anyone, not even me, his own father. It's indeed painful, very painful. Yes. Hmm. Well, you're welcome. However, if you should ever hear or learn about his whereabouts, please do not hesitate to let me know promptly. Hmm. Your Majesty, you can count on me. So, how's the family? Well, they are still in Abba. I see. Um. I'm done with here. I uh, don't have anything to do again. So why don't I take my in-law inside and give him a befitting welcome. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. That would be nice. Thank you, Your Majesty. One thing that has kept me in shock over this issue is that fact that Igwe is making determined efforts to see that this case doesn't end up with the place. He knows that no evil has befallen Prince Collins, even at that. I, I'm sure Iwe is worried because since Prince Collins disappeared from home, nobody knows what he's planning and that is making Iwe very uncomfortable. To for Laura, I still insist that Iwe should have gone to the place. Police? Yes. What is he going to tell the police? Oh, you are asking. That his son disappeared from home. And to think that the police wouldn't want to know why the young man disappeared. So I believe that Igwe knows what he's doing. But my prayer is that he doesn't bring calamity upon us. So that's my prayer. I pray so. And why did you? It's late already. Let me start going, eh? Well, of course. What's the time now? You're right.
Alo? Who's? Prince Collins? Where have you been? You, you just disappeared on everybody. Your family has been hounding me for your whereabouts. Of course, they should be worried. Your disappearance has left a lot of things hanging. You've been on our business side. Where? I'll be there. I'll be there as soon as possible. I said I'll be there as soon as I can. Alright, I'm coming to you. Wow. Enjoy your drink. After you practically forced me here for a drink. Would there have been an excuse for me to bring you out to enjoy yourself? Prince Anthony, do you realize that I am your brother's girlfriend? Which is the more reason why I should take care of you? Right? Anybody heard from Collins? Um, unfortunately, no. Um, but we're doing everything we can to find out where he is. Do you think something may have happened to him? No way. <laughs> Collins left the house on his own. I needed to know. And I, I just think that Collins is upset over something that I do not know right now. I've not been able to lay my hands on it, but... And like I said, we're doing our best to find him, and as soon as we find him, you, you sure know about it. Thank you. What for? Collins is my brother, and I should not get thank you for what I do for my brother. Okay? Uh, well, I don't know how he's been taking care of you, but... I do want you to know that from now henceforth, whatever you need and whatever you need it, just call me. Okay. Are you serious? I can't be joking with a matter as serious as this. Moreover, you can also stop by the palace anytime you want to. Too. Hmm. That's nice. Thanks. Straight to that. I'm thinking, Collins is not around in the palace, and if I come to the palace to see you, Mary and your mother may misunderstand it. You're very correct. But in any case, let's just enjoy our moment together and uh, leave the rest to me. I'll work it out. We have all been looking for Collins and no one has gone to the police to report that my brother is missing. Is that why you want to drag yourself to the police? <sighs> well, my dear daughter, your brother is not missing. He's fine. Mommy, you can't be too sure. Or are you trying to stop me? <laughs> Collins is fine. He's not missing. Uh, you remember he left on his own. And recently I discovered that he's staying with my brother. He's fine, even though he doesn't want anybody to know. Really? Oh my god, I'll kill Collins! Oh, <laughs> oh. oh Sangar is fine. Why didn't he? So, 
so if I did not remind you, you would have allowed this business go down the drain. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I have a lot of things on my mind now. Hey. Forget the lot you have on your mind. Let's get going before we lose this people. By truth and justice, a kingdom stands, but by lies it falls apart. I left that palace because I saw the way things were going and I didn't want to lose my life. You know, after that dream, I was afraid for your life. But leaving the palace without a solid plan is, is not the best of moves. Besides, it's not fair that you didn't tell your mother before leaving. So I should have stayed back and probably got killed before I have a plan. Oh, come on, we're on the same page here. Children, how are you? I came to see your uncle. Um, no, man, he's not yet back. All right. When he comes back, tell him I checked on him. I will, man. Thank you, man. Chibeze. Who is Chibeze? <laughs> that's that. <laughs> this guy. That's an evil name now. Nah. And that's what everybody calls me around here. Uh, do you have any problem with it? No. I don't have any problem with your name. <laughs> I don't. Ah, it means God is king. <laughs> but what are you going to do about him? I don't want to think about it. Did you, did you try to reach her, you know, um, before leaving the palace, or even after you had left? I did not. Like I told you, I don't want to think about it. No, I can't thank you enough for all the gifts you brought for me today. I really appreciate. It. What's that? I mean, what are you thanking me for? For just little things? Okay, let me ask you. What would you then do when I start doing greater things for you? <laughs> Prince Anthony. Yes, dear. I don't know what you're trying to do. I mean, if you start spoiling me with goodies like this, mm -hmm. what will I do when Prince Collins comes back? Does it matter? The most important thing is that you're happy. Case closed. How do you mean? What I mean is, it doesn't really matter whether my brother is there or not. What matters to me is that you're happy. Therefore, whatever you ask for, however will you ask for it, I will provide for you. Provided it makes you happy, then I'm good. I'm 
only saying this from the bottom of my heart. In every way that I've made you feel bad. Please forgive me. Where is your brother? Mother. Colleen's absence in this house has really given me food for thought. And I must say that I regret every of my actions and I'm ashamed of it. Anthony, you are my son and no one can love you more than I do. Nothing will give me greater joy than to see Collins back to this house and both of you getting along well like brothers should. Mother, I promise you that joy will not elude you. I promise to turn a new leaf and to live a more responsible life. Thank you. Thank you so much, my son. And in order to assure you that I'm ready to turn a new leaf, I'm also going to get married. That's great news. But I I wish things were a little bit different. Mother, I understand how you feel. But I just wanted you to be the first to know before any other. It's not like I'm going to get married immediately. Then at the right time, 